Welcome back, always for your Mafia members, to another fantabulous show. And we call this Another Effing Monday. Yes, Another Effing Monday. Correct, sir. The voice you hear is Mr. Mark Bland of the Q Now podcast. What's up? Well, it's not a podcast, it's a radio, radio show. show. That's also can be found in podcast form. But he's a radio star. Radio star. No, no, I'm not a radio star. I am. Come on. It's the podcast. You are the podcast. Mr. Pop- FTK, Mr. Fuck Them Kids. Oh, damn. There goes that. There goes that. Yeah, there you said that. it. You said yeah, it. There goes now that. we can say it now. You yeah, broke the seal. That. Another episode not getting monetized because I ruined it in the first 15 minutes. Poet, I'm the podcast poet. Welcome to the mom, Mr. Doing Too Much, Mr. Who Wants to Smoke. Mr. Talk to Me Nice, and I heard you when you said it. Okay, is ready? Come back. So I am back. I am Marcus Onesimus Boston. All right, and we are doing another fabulous episode of another effing monday with mr mark bland and the topic is 2023 thus far Mm. thus far 2023 thus far yes has been painful for me sir yes go ahead brother preach i have i have fought men Mm. in front of crowds of people that were drunk happy <laughs> and excited to see me mm. get my pa- my face punched in mm-hmm. <laughs> watch me punch another man's face in yeah while they screamed and yelled and cheered and cried and all of it at the good old south broadway athletic club here in st louis missouri yes round of applause where i was unceremoniously cheated <laughs> In my match against Shaft for the commissionership of Mid-Missouri Wrestling Alliance, the MMWA. And, uh, I mean, I was in total control the majority of this match. Mm -hmm. Uh, there, There was no point at where it seemed... As though Shaft had had the upper hand and, and, and Mark was just taking it too hard. Uh, but then, you know, you get caught off guard sometimes, right? You get caught off guard with something. And uh, in this case, I don't know why he did it, but uh, Shaft decided to run into the referee, Uh-oh. who in turn ran into me right, right. in the corner. Yeah. And knocked both me and the, the referee loop, loopy. Mm. We we go flying in both directions. Uh-huh. Um, all I know is, is at a certain point, I was able to get my wits about me enough. I noticed there was a chair. It was a no-DQ match. I knew that from when they set the rules the month before. Mm-hmm. And so as I get the chair lined up and I see the fear in Shaft's eyes, like I see yeah. the fear in this man's eyes. He is... He knows it. What's it's the, coming. What's the size? We're going to blast this man in his face with the bottom of a steel chair. And he's going to have to deal with this. This is going to be a part of his day, his <laughs> life at that point. It's in his book of life at that point. And all I felt was a tap on my shoulder. And I thought it was because I, I have obviously seen the match and what had happened since on the replays, the recorded videos that we have in 2023 shaft yeah so i tried to explain to him on a different show that i was on trying to explain to him how in 2023 we have video recording and the ability to rewind things and watch it over and over so i can see things after the fact <laughs> so like receipts yes saying. we have receipts okay and in these receipts ricky cruz comes out of nowhere gives me an rko well next thing i I I see on the tape, obviously, yeah, is that he's called into the ring. uh, Anthony Castaldi, that is, is called into the ring by Ricky Cruz after he gives me the RKO. And while the referee is knocked out on the floor, who is the officiator of this match, by the way, the person who is trained to officiate a wrestling match, the reason why he is the referee of said match. He is knocked out and incapacitated. 
Mark Bland is now incapacitated by this RKO. And so the cheat happens where they call down the owner of MMWA to pretend to referee. Quick count. One, two, three. Real quick. One, two, three. Mark Bland loses. You can even see on the replay, I try to kick out at the lat, like, ugh, just disgusting. Disgustingly cheated. And this is, uh, this is supposed to be what they consider uh, the heavyweight champ and the good guys. They're supposed to be the good guys, they say. They say they're the good guys. Do good guys go around cheating like that? No. I mean, America showed me that most good guys is cheating some of the bitches. But well, <laughs> now Marcus Onesimus. If I know anything about America, every good guy I am say not is good going to disagree. Is a cheating, dirty mother. With the cheating, dirty <laughs> mf -er That's the American way. Let's of the American cheat, way. But what do I know? Now, <laughs> I would not at all steer you wrong in that regards. I would tell you that you are completely 100% you are 100% right in all sections of this. Everything. Now, now. I have a I have a I have a real issue. Not a, I was going to say a difference of a, a not a difference of an opinion. Not not just this light dis misunderstanding. No, 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 no. We have a distaste now. Mm -hmm. There is a physical taste within the mouth mm. now, and it's a distasteful taste. It's not tasteful. It's bad. Ew. It's a bad taste. Ew. Okay, well, and you know, you know, and you understand, you understand life, Marcus, you understand life. Man, when you get a, a bad taste in it's your mouth understand life. from a person or a group of people, mm -hmm. it's, tar it's hard to shake that taste, True especially that. if, because usually it's given to you. That taste is given to people. Hey, listen, I know, I know, as Mark Bland, I am not everybody's cup of tea. And Marcus, Marcus is hung out with me in public enough to know. He I talk. Not. I'm out. <laughs> I'll be. I just, <laughs> people, people, like, how do you do it? Like, did you just say, did you just say that's a lie? I've never. Said, hung no, they, yeah. They that's like, a damn they like, lie. How do you do it? I'm like, you know what, man? I just. <laughs> I just, I just let it roll, man. <laughs> but no, no, no. Listen, I have I one of these walk. individuals where I understand I can put a bad taste in people's mouths. I get that. <laughs> it's very possible because listen, listen, it's just who I am as a person. Now, yeah, I don't. I'm not harmful to anybody, right? You know, right. if you, even though I might put a bad taste into someone's mouth, even if it's someone that me and Marcus both know personally, you know, that mm -hmm. way in some mm -hmm. like. Marcus can stand back and listen to me talk right now about it. He knows that person thinks about this about me. Uh huh. And know, he can I, literally I, I, sit there I, I, and go, I, I, yeah, I, yeah, 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 Mark's right. Mark's right. Like, Mark doesn't I, I, always come I, I, off I, the right way. But at the same point, Mark's harmless. Like, yeah. some people are just, yeah. they have a way about them, and that's just who I am. Mm -hmm. But Marcus is also the same way. He's kind of got a way about himself, too. We were discussing this off. The air before we jumped on this show. Yeah, that's my dating life, like friend life. But I'm just saying, but you have a way about yourself, is what I'm saying. Like, yeah, you were saying that. You were saying that yourself. You're like, I have a certain way about me. There's a certain vibe to how I roll. You know what yeah. I'm saying? It might yeah. not be everybody else's cup of tea, but it's how I move. Yeah, that's what we do over here, and that's what I'm saying. Like everybody's kind of got their own vibe. I get that. I just don't like to be cheated. <laughs> and lied to, screwed with, and played like, with like emotion. Black man in America, baby, it's like a black man in America. Well, that's how I, I guess I feel like. Ah, right, welcome. I guess I feel like that. You have arrived. My goodness. Mm. That is called every day. Mm. <laughs> well, then I am at every day. But uh, you Damn. know, we've got we've got a show coming up on that's March eleventh. For show, we got a show coming up on March 11th at the South Broadway Athletic Club, and if uh, anybody out there wants to uh, saunter on in at 7 p.m., you might catch the Kings of Revolution in action, taking on the heavyweight champion that night. Tommy Davis has an amazing opportunity to grab the heavyweight gold from around the neck of 
don't get me wrong, he wouldn't be the heavyweight champion if he wasn't good at what he does. Right? Right. Because that's how it works. Except I know that it was it was a title that he he they beat an individual as a team down over many, many months leading up to the opportunity to seize and take advantage. By the time it gets to that match, this man has been cheated and slapped around the way I am now yeah. by the same individuals. This man was cheated and slapped around yeah, and came in, <laughs> took advantage of that opportunity, but he did win the coffin match. He did. So he ended up becoming the heavyweight champion. And what rightfully so. What a world, Creed. He earned his title, and he wouldn't be in the position that he's in if it weren't for the fact that he had to wrestle the match. I get it. I just feel that his opponent wasn't up to par that night. Man, Mark came over all smoke. All smoke. Man. man. 100% all smoke. Not in a negative way, because these are all true things. I respect Cayman for what it's worth. I don't have a problem with this man, even though he spit on me. Damn. He has disrespected yeah. me. Like real, like real spit? Or like, spit? like, yes, like spit, spit Ooh. out of your mouth, spit. Oh, man. But he's got his little octopusy mask that he's always got on. It's an octopus mask. Not octopusy. <laughs> <laughs> he's got an octopus mask that he wears. Put the put the, put the on me. But I'm, I'm just being honest. <laughs> I know that Tommy Davis has the ability to drive a knee right through the heart of this individual. Chest, face, neck, all of it just bashed by a massive knee. And he can hit him one, two, three. And I know that he can dethrone this man and take his heavyweight championship from around his waist. I know he can. This is what the Kings of Revolution do. We take opportunity and we run with it. Unless it's like what happened to me. Being cheated for no reason at all. Cool. So come March 11th, Shit. me and the Kings of Revolution will be at South Broadway Athletic Club. There is going to be war. These men and us are going to go to war that night. Another battle. And well, I, I guess we're already at war technically. So it's just the next of many battles, probably. But it'll be March 11th, the South Broadway Athletic Club. Ah. They, um, they like to do the cheating thing. They like to do the cheating thing. Mm-hmm. It's what people like to do. You were talking about the American way. Mm-hmm. I get it. Yeah, everyone wants to feel like Stone Cold Steve Austin. Everyone wants to kick their boss in the face. Everybody wants to flip their boss off. I get it. I know how you feel. Everyone wants to be the everyman, but then sometimes the everyman steps out of bounds, like Shaft did. Didn't get a win the proper way. I know that, Marcus. Uh, what is the race of Shaft? Shaft is a black gentleman. Ah, damn Shaft. I was like, I, was like, I don't know what to be white Shafts. <laughs> Shaft is a black gentleman. <laughs> and to be honest with you, no, 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 no. I don't want to disrespect anyone out there. <laughs> I have a follow-up question. Shaft, I've known for many years. He gave me the shaft. No. <laughs> that might be worth a drink there, Marcus. That might be worth a drink there. You're done. Oh, it's a lot of vodka. <laughs> oh. No, that's not vodka. Uh, Maybe it is. I'm not going to tell you. Well, my shit is tequila. The and deal I is, be this. the deal is, uh, I'm I'm just frustrated. I'm frustrated by this whole situation and the way that the that, that that it came about with me being brought in as the assistant commissioner under Shaft originally, just like to to be tutored by him. You got brought in and get beat up. Well, see, that's who the, the king, thing. Who the king? So first off, first off, first off, number one, I did get beat up, Marcus. Sorry, sorry. you got cheated. I got no. I did. That's exactly what happened. <laughs> 
Why are you laughing? This is ridiculous. I, I don't. <laughs> I'm sorry because I'm not a good person. I'm going to tell you why. You're not a good person. <laughs> You're not a good person. I am. I am where it matters. But what I think matters, most people don't agree. So that's where the confusion comes in. Oh, man. Um, so the, a black man gave you a shaft. Uh, a man named Shaft, who I've known for many years, and actually, at one point, um, he used to open doors for me and another uh, wrestler to go practice and train and do our thing that we needed to do to get the other wrestler ready to go back to the big boy show. And uh, he uh, he used to come in and open up the, the, the doors for us, and he would sit there with his girlfriend, uh -huh. and they would watch for hours Was on end. Was she white or black? What's that? Was she white or black? White. Damn. I mean, what did you expect? <laughs> Marcus is a white male. I know that the black man's going to get a white woman. Oh, That's what you do, right, oh, Marcus? Okay. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Jesus, Marcus. Say, why would you go there? Shit. It's not my so, fault. I was hoping to make Lisa have to the 30 minute mark before we get into the shit. Now, now, to be honest, to be honest, uh, regardless of their uh, relationship, <laughs> that's between them. Uh, <laughs> I want to get back to the fo the focus. Go here. ahead, yeah, yeah, yeah. Back to you getting shafted by the black man. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Name shaft. So, <laughs> so shaft is now the commissioner of MMWA because he beat me. Technically, yeah. Uh, everybody can watch the video and see that I was cheated. So that's easy to prove. We got receipts, as you said. Nothing there, but. It seems like in the world of professional wrestling and in the world of wrestling in general, mm -hmm. there is just this, it has to be handled in a direct fashion. Mm -hmm. Everything seems to have to always be handled in a direct, hands-on fashion. Do you see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, I guess we'll see come March 11th if things get hands-on. I don't know. March 11th, location. South Broadway Athletic Club. What time? 7 p.m. How do we get tickets? Uh, you can go to, uh, if you go to Google and you Google Ticket Leap, all one word, that's T-I-C-K-E-T-L-E-A-P, Ticket Leap, and then uh, space M-M-W-A. That'll take you right to the ticket link. And you can just click on it and you can find the newest date and click to get tickets if you'd like. And you would like, I would tell you this, this is the hottest show going in St. Louis right now. Dead serious, Marcus. When you come down, if you come down to one of these shows, Marcus, we're talking 700 people. March rocking, 11. rocking in a building like it's Mardi Gras night every show. It is a three-hour festive party-style atmosphere, and in the middle of it, we get down and we get dirty. So who the Kings of Leon? I mean, who the Kings the of... The Kings of Leon? I'm well, sorry. that is a music group, Marcus. <laughs> That's not even a wrestling thing. I'm sorry. Go on. You mean the Kings, Kings of, of Revolution? Revolution? <laughs> well, that would be myself. <laughs> okay, okay. That would be Blake Steele. Uh -huh. That would be uh, Dr. Dallas Stevens. Okay. That would be JSO. And that would be Tommy Davis. It's five of you guys. There's five of us. That's a, that's a good balance. And we handle our business. That's what we do. So what's your finishing move? Well, when I was an active wrestler, uh -huh. which I'm not a current active wrestler, I just had the match with Shaft because I'm a man. Mm. And men do what men do. Well, mm. well they, they, listen, I said I'd be there. Chef said he'd be there. We said that if there was a ring and a bell and they rang it, we would fight. Yeah. We didn't care who'd be there. And guess what? They rang the bell. We were there. We fought. That happened. 100%. You can't say he backed down. You can't say I backed down. We were there. We fought. I was handling that business. It was done. And then the cheat. Then the shaft came. And then the shaft came. Exactly. Pun intended. Yeah. Man. In all forms. In all forms of yeah. what the word shaft could possibly be. Yeah, it's, Taking it's, the shaft. Wow. Getting the shaft. Wow. Shafted. Yeah. All the shafts. Yeah. Damn. Goodwood, too. 
Yeah. <laughs> the motherfucking <laughs> shaft with the good wood. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because when it was all said and done, you know what he had the balls to say to me? Oh, man. The bu- Thanks for celebrating Black History Month with me, Mark. Thanks for got on the microphone in front of 700 people and said, thanks for celebrating Black uh, History Month with me, Mark. Am I wrong? If I was to give How a disrespectful call? is that? <laughs> Mark. <laughs> Would you be upset <laughs> if I wasn't here to round of applause? Always breathing <laughs> all the good air up. <laughs> breathing <laughs> up all the good air. Man. Oh, man. Mm. Oh, man. Always oh, breathing up all man. the good air. Wow. Leaving the bad air for Mark. Wow. Wow. Um, so, that's where we're at, Marcus. Wow. As you can see, I have a bad taste in my mouth, as I say, I stated earlier. And uh, I don't know, man. But I know when March 11th gets here, I know where I'll be. Yes, you would be. I know where I'll be. At yeah. the South Broadway Athletic Club, yep. 7 p.m. That's right. Um, uh, and we don't have to beat, doing beat people over the head with that. Like, I, I understand. I understand. I, I just needed you, it. you were chance. wondering about 2023. Yes. Yeah, so and fun. up to this point, And it was, I, like I said, I was being tutored underneath them. We kind of got off track. I was being tutored underneath them. I would watch as the brotherhood would cheat Ben trust, come out three deep and beat on him and then cheat him out of opportunities, almost losing his belt a couple of times. And then finally did lose his belt. Specifically because by this point he had been beaten up month and month and month and month and month and month month after each other. Just ridiculous amounts. Mm -hmm. What's he to do? He's beaten up. He's got three guys on one constantly. Eventually you're going to fold under the pressure. And I feel horrible for Ben because he didn't deserve that. (laughs) <laughs> but I would watch as Anthony Castaldi, the the head of MMWA, would get into the locker room and he'd be throwing clipboards at walls, screaming about how his heavyweight champ was getting screwed over by the Brotherhood. So I decided when the numbers were pr- proper, I wanted to teach some people a lesson. And as assistant commissioner, I called for some uh, some wrestling matches, some opportunities, make those numbers fair. Show them how, when the numbers are not fair, how it feels so that they can all get on the same page with us again. They didn't like that. But it was always, it was always okay when Ben Truss was the champion and they were ba- the ganging up on the people. When they were ganging up on the people, it was always okay. Each, each month, each show, every single time, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. But when we even it up and we we make them be the guy getting beat up on by the numbers. Oh, well, now it's bad. It sucks. You suck. Oh, how? We just took a page out of your book. That's all we did. Right? Street code, right? Would you agree? Street code? Sir, I am not street. I don't know what the street code Stop trying to are. say you ain't street authority, boy. Not, You've been so on the street. I don't have no street code. Stop. You street code. I you understand street it. code, though. No, you I read a book about it. Yeah, flip I read mode. Book. Flip mode. I, yeah. I read the book about it. <laughs> yeah, stream flip mode. <laughs> Jesus. Street code. Terrifying. Street code. Fl- I just street code rhymed with flip mode. I don't know why. I, are I've been ones? I've been trying to look through a lot of like a lot of drug trafficking. Wait, in my who movies. was flip mode? Flip mode was Buster, right? Buster, yeah, yeah, it was Buster. Flip like, mode squad. Yeah, that was a uh, Buster and. I haven't heard the word flip mode in forever. Like nobody says flip shit, mode anymore. Really, so. hear Buster. <laughs> we hear more of it now because it's fifty years of hip hop. But um, I was kind of disappointed in that. Like I thought it was cool. Like the the, the performance was fine. Still, like that was fine. You know, I still haven't watched. That. I mean, I mean, but it was I, just weird. The end of it was really weird. And then like all of a sudden, like uh, what's his name? Um, not Lil Nas X. Uh, Lucy Vert. Yeah, Lucy Vert just showed up on stage. She didn't even do anything. There was supposed to be two other people, Lil Wayne and another person was supposed to be in between, like that. 
whatever that was. Uh-huh. But some Lil Wayne and the security got into it. Lil, Lil Wayne left. It was a whole just shit show. Oh. So it was supposed to be someone Did between know that. to bridge Lil Uzi Vert and whoever was before that. It was Lil Wayne in there and somebody else. But once Lil Wayne then got into it with security, damn. I wasn't so in the clouds. I can know the details. How much do you want to bet it was uh, over him wanting to smoke weed live on the Grammy stage? And they're like, no, that is not going to be seen on national TV. I don't think that was it. I think it was. I feel like that that would be the easiest. I think it was a person or something he couldn't bring. I don't know. I don't know. Now I got to realize what the reason is. Now, but I know it was Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne will be in there. Lil Wayne was supposed to do a Millie. In that collage of songs to get to Lil Uzi Vert, which I don't even understand the music he makes. I I don't like I don't understand how Lil Uzi Vert is Lil Uzi Vert. That's how I know I'm. I, this is no longer. I'm out. You're like, out of the game. You're out of the loop. Yeah, like I'll hear it, but I don't see. I don't. I, I guess because for me, all of it sounds like Drake to me. Because Drake was before these guys. All of it sounds. It, it yeah, sounds like, like the listen. same Twenty One Savage beat. If I don't have this, I mean, I'm a Drake guy. So, like, as as Drake keep doing stuff with y'all, I'll learn you new guys. I'm not going to learn. I'm not, I just don't have, I don't have Drake's the, got one beat he rides really <laughs> great. He's Drake? got one beat. It's the same beat over and over, oh, just with see. different words over the top of it. It's the same beat, though. Like, it's always the same beat. Like, the money to the grave beat. It's always that style beat. Like, it's I'm always. Over, I like the singing song, Drake, actually. So, I'm not, I can care for less about the rapping, Drake. I'm the I like the melody singing song. Hate these bitches, love these hoes. You Drake. like the? Uh, did you like the EDM album that he did? The the faster Hell like dance. Yeah, you like it? See, oh, I thought it was. Man. I thought it was okay. I didn't oh, think it was great. I, loved, I, I didn't like, think it was horrible. I didn't I think it was I horrible. Went to the island. I wish I could went out of town. Let's go I, on a beach. I got, honestly, I give it a seven out of ten. Like I don't think it's amazing, but I don't think it's horrible. Like I like I think the it's, risk. I, I, I like I like how he did. So Beyonce coming. Let me get mine out first. <laughs> Let me hear it drop before, uh, before Beyonce comes. Good job, brother. Because I damn near forgot about what Beyonce dropped. But yeah, like it's definitely my. I like one well, my top Drake album because it's got some. It's, it's, it's I just I don't know. Fuck. That's my geek. I don't know. Twenty one. Can you do some for, for me? me. <laughs> Drake. Oh, okay. Man. Oh, that is so horrible. And I love fucking uh God did. That's a great song. That's sure. a long song. That's I was, good. Yeah, yeah, that was a good album. That was a good album. Good, that was a good Khaled album. Like it was enough on there to make me add it to like the, the a playlist. Like, like at this point, I got a whole Khaled playlist. Like I like okay. songs. I do n- okay. All right. So Khaled is fine, but <laughs> only when it's with Justin Bieber for me. Like, like Khaled <laughs> is cool, but only with Justin. If it's a Justin song with Khaled on it, it's fine. But like Khaled on like a song like with Jay or like this song right here with Jay Z and them that they did, it Man, wasn't it wasn't really it wasn't horrible. I, this this his hair decision he chose baffles my mind. I, well, I guess I don't own a Basquiat, so maybe that's why. If I get a, if I get some money, my hair gonna be trash too. You know why? Come out, my, my watch is worth two million dollars. A watch. Well, it just shows know. time, but it's two million dollars worth of time. Why do I know these things? I follow. The I do. I mean, I love, <laughs> but I'm just not a big Khaled fan because I don't think that DJ Khaled does anything. I don't think that he's really anything. Like, if he was to be something, maybe he's a party starter or someone who's actually, you know what, Khaled is probably more than he's anything. A he's a con- <laughs> connector of people. Yeah, he's a conductor. He's, he, I mean, he, he's a person, he, you know, he's a maven. He just, he's Grand Central Station. All the trains come in, meet each other. They wouldn't meet each other. Like, I understand his yeah. role because at one point I was there. I was like, everyone, y'all friends because we friends with me. Then y'all fucked each other and had kids and didn't need me no more. Clearly, I. Anyway, point is, did that Khaled, happen? <laughs> oh my goodness, Marcus! It's not about. He's me. really putting your life out there. What's going on? How has your twenty twenty three been so far? We haven't talked about yours. Ass. It's been like ass. Trash ass. Why is that? What's been going on? What's it's wrong? Been nothing but cutting motherfuckers off. There's been nothing but. Are these close motherfuckers that you thought you would I mean, be you would be rolling with for a long time? Yeah, or something? like the people that know me from early on when I know I was gonna do certain shit. And like, yeah, I hung on, but some people just couldn't under. Some people can't make it through the transition with you because they That's like true. who you used to be. They don't like who you are now because they, they had their best 
fun with you back then when like I wasn't having fun. I was just doing what I had to do to make it through. You had a great time, but now I'm having a ball and we're not balling the same. Okay. Okay. So after enough, after enough time, I sell rope and trees. I'm kicking out, I'm kicking out chairs now. I'm like, okay, well, can get this chair about you. Chair about you. Like you hang your damn self. Like I try. How many people are in the middle of being on the chopping blocks? I cut out four people. You've already caught out four people. Yeah. Four, and these are people you've known for ten or ten or plus years. Let's say ten years is a like a base point. Ten years or longer. Three, three out of four. Three out of the four. Ten years longer. Uh-huh. Wow, that's a long time, man. Uh huh. Wow, I'm sorry. Well, that's that. You know, and that sucks too. It's gross. It's, yeah, it's gross. But here's the thing. Here's the thing, though. We're all adults. Yeah. And and here's the thing. Just keep being open. Keep it open in your mind. Yeah. Down the road. Right. They'll come back around. Right. It, yeah. It'll all work itself back out, and everybody will end up being just cool with each other and fine. It's I ain't just, hard to find. It's just like you know, one of those things. I get it, yeah. dude. You just like how, how many times can I keep going through this same shit? Like, I get no grace, but you like you get everybody else great. Like you can't keep doing this shit because I allow it. So like you know what? Maybe it's maybe I can stop fighting for us because the only person fighting for us is me. And <clears throat> you can't tell me. What's, if I do something wrong by you, let me know. Don't just ghost me. Like you're not talking to me now. Like again, you're not talking to me again. Yeah, again. Like come on, my guy. Like you just I'm supposed to just come running back. Like please. Like nah, that's fine. You know what? You show right. Let me really learn how what what alone mean. Don't you understand that shit? It's worse things to be. And just, and just like I said, like, like I was saying, like in the kitchen, I was cooking my spaghetti. I think I got it this time. The last time I made it, I didn't make it. I didn't put enough sauce to get a little dry. Okay, okay. I think this time it, I let, it looked really like I really got in there, and it looked, it looked like I might have got it right this time. I okay. always get shaky about the noodles. I probably should time myself. I'm like, this time I put too much salt in there, so like it didn't bubble. Are you soon not enough. used to cooking? Uh, no, like I didn't have like. I, didn't have to cook for myself because my mom was gonna cook something. I bring something in the house. Like I didn't have to physically cook in my house because she wouldn't allow it, and I wasn't gonna fight her to cook in the house. So, she wouldn't allow it. Why wouldn't she allow you to cook in the house? Because she, I don't know, because she didn't trust me to do it. I was like, so I can't. So you want? So was what she cook in the house? She, she mostly, yeah. So I never tried. Once she didn't allow me to help her cook, I said, I'm not. I'm not. I'm fuck the kitchen. Then I'll just do the dishes in the trash. <clears throat> and then, <clears throat> but what I learned. <clears throat> Um. Yes, yeah, so I'm trying things. I did tacos. It's cool. That's cool. You know, I'm adding different ingredients to my spaghettis. Fajitas? Could you do fajitas? Uh, I haven't quite made there yet. You were almost just, there. You just grilled the chicken. I was watching you grill the chicken. Oh, All you yeah. do is slice it up at oh. that point and like get your your, your vegetables. Uh, yeah, you know, like in a pan, sauced up in a saucepan. It is good. Yeah, I get there. I want I want to start doing Asian food. I like Asian food. I've been wanting to have. That's what I'm saying. Like you could Asian. do you could do some good stuff like that. You get some rice going on in the. I think give me a grill. Get yourself a wok. Yeah, get a wok. I, mean, I really need some proper kitchen stuff. So I got some pieces, but ain't all the pieces a piece I need. Now, how long have you lived on your own? Um, April, <laughs> last April. Oh, since last April. So it's about almost a year. So yeah. So it's still all right. You doing good then? I ain't been evicted yet. Bills are paid. Bills <laughs> are paid, still, right? Yeah, cause shit, you're right. Yeah, it's pay paid. Range Rover ain't been stolen. It's not. It's Kia still, gone. Been... <laughs> I long ago. I, I was gonna check the camera for my phone. Is... <laughs> <laughs> hold up, hold up. On the camera, hold up, oh, hold up. Oh man, hold up. We gonna check. Oh, uh, Kia, check. Is it still out there? Oh, hold up. oh is somebody around it. No, nobody around it. Okay, okay you need to. Right. We good. We good. <laughs> all right, all right. God Woo! is good. Won't he do it? Yes, he God is good. God is good. Yes, we is Lord. good. That was Have mercy. So they, that was close. They close. get the motherfuckers up out of here, buddy. Uh, Johnny, so this is really like adjusting to like how do we? How did I get here? Because like in, in in that in that time of being in April, um. I went through a lot of different things before I knew what I was going through. Like, who women, mostly just dating. And then it's like, damn, on the other side of that, it's like, 
I have the need to make things make sense and put things in in, in an understandable um, perspective. I have a need to understand. And I was like, human civilization and life is mo- is power, sex, and money. But that's the order. Because everything that humans do, have done, will do, comes down to a level of power, some sex is involved, and money is to fuel everything. Because money wasn't, money, money's pretty new. But power and sex has always been a yeah, power and sex has always been a part of it's culture. It's always been. Like you you don't of get, all culture. Yeah, like you don't get you we can't we're not building shit unless some sex and powers involved. Like we're not having the we not having that Eureka moment like, you know what? Let's just stay right here and grain and make some let's build some shit here. Let's not keep moving around. You know, like now I got this in house pussy. You know what? I wanna keep this in house. <laughs> you like that sex thing doesn't get enough credit in things we do and why we do things. I don't think it does. It's because it's taboo. It's it, our taboo side yeah, of our world. Like, like human civilization, sex is always about tabooness. It's always about the taboo. Human build, human build things to control human behavior, which we cannot control. We we we, we keep yeah, trying, correct. and we never will be able to do it. We we keep no every everything is built to fight human human behavior. Everything. And we keep failing at it, but that's the whole game. We keep putting coins in the motherfucking game, knowing damn well we're going to lose every time. Yeah. You have everything you can want and still not happy. Damn. Right. I'm living the, I'm living the bit my best life, but it ain't mine. Damn. Or I, like, uh, just like, a buddy of mine was telling me a story last night about a woman who got so infatuated with trying to perfect her body. Uh-huh. You know, to where they almost uh, they destroy it, they go over the top, right? Mm-hmm. The tits are too big, the lips are too big, the cheeks, yeah. the butt, the the hips, the waist, the this, the that, like, the, and it, before they 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 look like a, I'm not gonna say a monster because I'm not trying to like degrade people, but I'm just yeah. they look they look uh, abnormal yeah. compared to what their normal face looked like originally. Right? You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Well, this girl had spent like hundreds of thousands of dollars in this chase. Mm-hmm. And then when it was all said and done, she didn't look like the way she looked, so she committed suicide. Damn. And I'm like sitting there going, what, see, what was the value in the hundreds of thousands of dollars and you play surgeries and everything? Moves. You play this whole game for yourself just to turn around and be like, I'm not, I'm not happy with the results. Well, you, you could have watched them slowly happen as they happen. Like you knew where you were making your mistakes. You knew. When you live for the applause, you die by the booze. Yeah. Well, that's something you got to be taught. Like, you have to, maybe, you have to not only maybe verbally hear it, but like see that demonstrated there. And see, that's why a Dave Chappelle weathers the storm better than a Cat Williams. Because Cat lives by the applause. Yeah. So the booze kill him. Yep. Whereas Dave. Dave doesn't care if you applaud him or not. Dave has a point to make, and he's going to make his point. And once he's made his point, maybe you like it, maybe you don't. Maybe you laughed, maybe you didn't. Just depends. Right. But when Dave walks off the stage, he's lighting a cigarette up, and he's on to the next one. Like, he is not chilling for you and worried about your opinion of him, this, that, what he thought. You paid the ticket to see him. He knew that. End of story. There yeah. it is. You know what I'm saying? It's just a different approach of life. Yeah. Um, man. Very true. 2023 so far. Yeah, so now it's just... 2023 looks like this baby video. This little baby video. That's not a little baby. This little Nardo. It's not that a, it's is? Not, it's not a wick. Yeah. That's little not baby's a wick. In this is the remix. That this looks is... like little baby himself. That is not little baby. That is not you a... sure? Yeah, I'm positive. That's Nardo Wick. That's Nardo Wick. Yeah, little baby who man. looks just like little baby. Man, y'all look the same. I, got the, I mean, they all no, look Nardo same. looks a lot like little baby. Like, that Nardo, look too close. Little baby's hair longer. That's the only reason. I, I mean, I, besides that, like his hair is longer. But he might be in this video. Um, what was I saying? Okay, that's what's his name, Little Dirk. Yeah, that's uh, Little Dirk. With that drill music. 
<laughs> Remember when Dirk was all drill music and everybody was because that's how he came up. Right. Everybody forgets that that hard ass drill music that didn't make anybody understand what the hell he was saying and any of that stuff is how he got popular. Now he just flows. Yeah, I mean, I, I that drill thing. I, I really realized not having cousins. I miss a lot of shit. <laughs> Well, I, we, as we get music. older, we just get into our groove and our vibe, and we just follow along with it. Yeah, but see, I don't have no, I don't have, I ain't got no wife, kids, and baby mama, so I have no bridges. So I'm like, now I will say I'm definitely influenced more by Gen Z and pop culture because of my two children. Yeah, bringing the internet and their yeah. games and their shows and the like. I know about Chainsaw Man because what? my daughter's into Chainsaw Man. What is that? It's an anime that's really popular, Jesus, and it's now on Netflix. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. My daughter's into anime. She loves anime. She thinks it's fantastic. I, I allow them to chase where they want to chase. Yeah, I thought I did. I thought I thought I had it. I thought I did right. That's Twenty One Savage and Little Baby. That's Nardo and Twenty One. It's I, this is. This is karate. This is ninjas. Are, I know, ninjas. I know. I know. It's a lot. There's just it's ninjas a going on. So- <laughs> why does he have a? Why does he have a face mask that says Celine okay. on it? Celine is a high end brand now. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's like All a, right. a Miri. Like I, I, I be having to like watch. See, like, I wouldn't have known that if I didn't know you, and you just bro, told me that. Like I, I would have been watch, like confused. I had to watch YouTube videos. Like, what is this shit? A Miri, Celine. Who are these designers? Who Who are these people? I don't know. I can't explain it. And you're a man who likes to stay up on his fashion I'm stuff. I'm going to even, I watched it still. It's like, so, yeah, I just like this shit? Like, yeah. Like, I mean, I still buy Louis and Gucci's and shit, but like, this shit looks goofy to me. It's just that. Like, why would you want this $300 for that t-shirt? Like, I don't, I, ah, but once again, I'm poor. <laughs> I don't get it. Like, I don't, I, I don't get it. Like, I is have that, some, Is I that have, Benny the Butcher? That's a uh, uh uh he from Chicago too uh G Herbo G Herbo G Herbo I do love me some G Herbo That's G Herbo shit See some of these guys I just I've never seen them like yeah, I, 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 don't I, like, I know their I know their songs but I don't know them There's no like more it. video stations and shit like you got like I don't know how well, kids no, buy these I shits. think it also has become so compartmentalized too like we is we've grown up now for 20 years with high speed internet and the internet growing with us okay so right. we've found our alleys we like to go down and the newer stuff just doesn't touch our algorithms the way it does other people's stuff who are a little younger than us who might be 18 years old with a facebook page you know what i'm saying yeah it's or or instagram or whatever it just touches them differently so but remember we had our time too think about you when you were 21 years old think about what you were into (laughs) and was it on the edge of culture yeah it was but it was on it was on the edge of culture for sure in in 1997 when i turned 21 years old yeah we was making them say uh for <laughs> nah, sure. Nah, nah, nah. nah, nah. <laughs> Make him say, Ugh. oh, all day long. Everybody was doing it. But that was culture. That's what I'm saying. Let's that was our, in jail. but that was our life. That was just our life. That was, that was pop culture at that time, though. That was what was on video stations you could watch, like the box. Bo- the box existed. I wanted, I wanted to buy, I wanted to buy a song so bad, but I didn't want to get kicked out of my house. <laughs> So I just never. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, But I'm just saying, like, that was the 90s. That was my high school and college days. And uh, that, I mean, that was the top of culture. Like, Make Them Say Oh was the most popular music at the time. Uh, Max P and No Limit Records were running the game. Uh, we had we had Aftermath. I've been. We had Dre. Dre came back finally. Dre came back with Been There, Done That. But beyond you that, like, but here we are. But here we. Are. But that's ninety seven. In oh. just another year and a half, we're going to be introduced to Eminem. Baby, you wanna fuck, Do you I see what I'm saying? You. You ain't gonna I'm say Slim Shady. Yes, I'm the real Shady. All these other Slim Shady. Eminem does just, only uh, have one one like gear and rapping like. Slim Shady, like, please stand up. Could he rap please over stand this new up. shit like without, without being and, 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 like. No, no, he can. He can. I don't like. He can't make a pop song. Who Eminem? Melody song. Like he couldn't do. Oh no, 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 no! Uh, Love the way you lie was a great pop song. 
That's a pop song. I would say that's totally a pop song. Yeah, because Rihanna, not because Eminem. But, Eminem, no, no, rap, but that is an Eminem song. She sings the hook of it, but that that's is a, that's okay. a pop song. Like, I will give him credit for that. That's a pop song. He does fine. He did na 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 pop song. Na 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 na. Uh, yeah, M don't have a lot of style. Uh, M, M, Drake uh, has more flow types. Drake, Drake is more diverse. No, no, Eminem has, has seven, way has, has more seasons. diversity to him M when it have, comes to his M&M beats and his style. More than one type of flow. He yes, he does. The same thing with everything. No, he does. He, he does. Rapping, rapping no, 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 no. I'm dead serious. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna Drake, message you on this. This is true song. True story. Make a Drake song. What? M can never make a Drake song. Of course he could. No way. He can have a melody of song like and then no. Eminem oh. cannot slow down enough to make a, a melody song. Yeah. M could easily. M. I'll be your Superman. No, I got you on that. No yeah, way. Superman. Oh, no, yeah. Superman is not a Drake song. But that is since that's that flowing sing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was. Oh, yeah. That's not it. But that is it. But <laughs> that, that is, is it. it. I'm just telling you, M is super diverse on his abilities. Like, <laughs> no, it's crazy. Not. People don't give that dude credit. Y'all don't give him credit. That's not true. Like, he's super diverse. And he can go fast, slow. He can do intercessions. He can do it all. Stabs, back and forth, all of it. Oh, my goodness. He's got, he's got so many different ways he can go. And here's the worst part, too. His riding is slick. His writing is slick. His words, they are slick. They are pinpointed. They will take a dude down. They'll take you down. They'll cut you in half if they need to. Yes, lyrically, yeah, he's strong. Eat you alive. He was strong. He's strong. If I had a pick, if I want someone to write me a song, I'm not asking him. I'm asking Drake. Well, first off, I'd probably ask the dream. To write the song. I mean, well, I mean, if I want like a, a legendary, yeah, if I want, baby face. If I got some dream money, yeah, baby like, face. You want baby face? Right, help you write it. Yeah, yeah if I really want to, <laughs> like, like who can ask baby face for a song? Baby Mill. Who? Baby Mill. Who is he? That's this rapper. I don't know. It's Baby Mill. Okay. Let me uh take this shot. <laughs> He's gonna take this shot. Take it live on camera. Do it. Do it. Do right, it. Do I it. Juice in there because this. Oh, there it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, baby Mill. I mean, Mill does the screen. It's Mickey. It's Mickey babies. Hold on, wait a minute. I said, sir, can you just have an inside voice? Anyway. Sneaky baby. So 2023 so far uh, for me has been. I mean, I'm just I'm just taking a day day by day, learning how to be. I'm testing my theories of who I think I am. You're testing your theories of who you think you are. Yes. Yeah, so like it's, easy, it's easy to be in a in a environment you don't control and have these things of thinking you this person. You have these feelings until. You have to go outside and test your theories. It's one thing to have a theory in a classroom or in a lab, but it's one thing to go outside and test your theories to see if it's real or not. So okay. now, okay, me being in an environment that I am 100% control of, sink or swim, I'm figuring out what parts of me is who I think I am. And what have we figured out? So far, I, I am who I think I am. I stand on what I believe in. And anything I choose to do, I can stand on that consequence and explain it. Do I like having to maybe uh, live my raps? No, I wish I could be. Your value comes from the choices you make. Correct. All you can do is make the choices. Here's the thing. I feel that every person should make choices based off of. I understand human nature is to be selfish. I feel that most people should make choices based off of for their life based off logic. That's how I prefer to choose to live life is based off logic. That's a man thing too. Now (laughs) women, there's a lot of people out there that base it off emotion. Okay. I'm not an emotionally baited individual. I'm not an emotionally baited individual. 
It takes a lot to really get my gerd, to really anger me, like super, like to really anger me, like enraged anger type thing. It takes a lot. You have to, you'd have to do some pretty heinous stuff to me or yeah. around me. Heinous is to, a lot. To, Heinous, to, to, Heinous to bring it, to bring out that kind of anger because I've seen so much Heinous. and I've, I've dealt with so much that I don't, um, I don't process I process it a much more um, aggressive and uh, older way, mm-hmm. and so therefore, I, it just the process, the process of making the choices. Mm-hmm. That's what everything becomes. Yeah. Getting your pattern down that you use to consistently make good choices is the yeah, toughest. Saying, like, have that's pro- the toughest part of the the process. Having processes in place to handle your 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 humanity, like yeah, you have to be real with yourself. Like you understand, like I'm going to one day fall below my standards because I'm not going to be prepared for whatever. Do I have a process prepared to say, okay, oh, you're here. Let's do this because we know that is that. Like, I think for me, made by myself, like, I've always been aware of consequences. Can you, are you willing to pay that price for that decision? Are you willing, are you willing to eat that consequence on that decision? If you are, proceed. If not, save it. You know what I'm saying? Are you really, re- are you ready to deal with the consequence? If I was my, am I ready to, to stay at this girl house, deal my mind the next day, blah, 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 or do I go home now? And just take the chance that maybe she won't be here next time. Decision. What's consequences worse? Mm. Mm. That's always that's always how I've thought about things before I thought about things. Can I deal with the consequence of this? If I can't, you know what? Nah, I'm good. <laughs> You know, but see, here's the thing. I think that we, like I said, if you base things off logic, logically, no one wants consequences at all. Yeah. The fewer consequences you have to pay or deal with, the better off you are. That's there's, the logical way of choice of making value, There's value so, in mistakes. So when you're going and approaching, this is me personally, maybe mm-hmm. you're differently. Some people probably mix a little logic with emotion. Everybody's a little different, I'm sure. Right. Absolutely. My point being, when it comes right down to it, at the end, if you're logically processing things and you're saying, I want less drama, less issues, yeah. problems, uh, making better choices leads to less drama and less issues. So logically, I'm going to want to do whatever is going to logically leave myself in a position, even if on the table is something to where you can be selfish and benefit yourself in some other f- maybe financial way or gain or this or that, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You might want to overlook that. You might want to take the logical approach, overlook that because by taking that bait and running down that road, it might open up a can of worms you weren't expecting. Mm -hmm. If you Mm -hmm. stuck to your guns and you just made your logical decision, we're like, okay, I'm not going to let that baby. I'm going to move on. Well, now you've, you've de-stressed. You've taken it down. You've sullied. This so that it has less effect on you. You can manage that easier in life. Things become better. They become easier for you. Simple. I always felt like I, anything can happen to me. Like, I never felt like, you know, something happens to like, you know, your 20s or your teens feel like you're invincible. I was like, no, nah, shit can happen to me too. So I always, I always, I always respect it. I would world say I that in. there was up until I turned around. Once I had my kids, mm. once I had my daughter, mm-hmm. I didn't feel invincible anymore. Okay. It took that off of me mm. because now I knew that I had to survive on behalf of another person mm. for them to survive properly. Mm-hmm. And that means the choices I had to make I had to take that into account. Mm-hmm. So I guess that's where I lost that innocence, mm. that that vibe of invincibility okay. went away. Okay, two thousand nine. That's fair. Yeah, because I never March fifth yeah. to be exact. I never had that cloak on me. I was like, okay, I know I am just as human as the next person. 
I never had that. I'm going mean, to roll well, with the no, dice. No, 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 no. Don't get me wrong. I was always aware after my wrestling matches, even though I was young, that I was hobbling in pain. My knee was probably rearranged. So was my elbow. Probably had bruising all over my chest and my face. Like, I understood what I had just done was a wrestling match where I fought a human being. Like, I understood that. It's just, it kind of comes with the territory. Oh, right. You, you, so you, you kind of, like, bypass certain aspects. You see what I'm saying? You was doing something that made your heart warm. Yeah, you was doing your wrestling thing mm-hmm. at the A. See? Yeah, I was thinking, like, I never, like, me growing up, as I have so much time to think about <laughs> how I got here. Sure. <laughs> Being I ain't got no hoes no more. No mo. And the hoes I heard, I was like, I don't even know. I don't, ugh. But anywho, as I contemplate and sit through, I'm like, yes. I was aware, I, I was always aware before I knew what the word aware meant. So I was always like, okay, as a child, this is, the best idea is this. Which path does give me the less path of consequences? Because I don't like to be bothered. I don't like to be troubled. Resistance? Is a resistance an issue for you? Do you want the least path of resistance? I just want to, I just want to, yeah. Do you I want, want the I want easiest the path? path? The, right, I want the path to make the most sense. If the path logic, is the that's hardest, the logic path. Yeah, like if we can, why we go here when this is clearly. Like I said, the one that makes the most sense, even though there could be financial gain or some other sexual gain. We're talking about power and sex and all that earlier. Sexual gain or power gain. Uh, Regardless of that, if that might be a supplement, I would avoid that because it could open a can of worms. As long as you're getting what you need out of this original decision, just leave it right where it's at. See what I'm saying? Like, it's more a logical choice. It leads to less stress. Yeah, you might have been able. That's the gamble, though. Some gambles pay off. Some don't. I think growing up around women and not around my aunts and my mom and not my uncles made me see women as people and not objects. Because we we grow up around men. I'm I'm, going to make it black men because I am black. But, like, men in general... We, we we pass down logics or behaviors to see women as objects first and human beings second. I can see that. I but can if understand. You are constantly by circumstance or lack thereof or blah 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 or seeing women as humans first, objects second. It really it hinders the reward process of the of the culture we are. I can li- tell you living. that I definitely see my wife as humans first, or else I would be getting that ass whipping right. when I got home. You right. see what I'm saying? Right. And I'm not trying to get in any ass whippings, right? So right. so even though I might be able to poke a bear and get a laugh and make myself feel good, mm-hmm. I'm gonna avoid that because I don't want that ass whipping later on. So I always know that my wife is a human Correct. and is to be viewed in such fashion, not as an object. Mm-hmm. You see my point? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So um, see, there's, there's, there's just little things like that that keep you in check in life. But mm-hmm. that was a good moment right there. Like that was a, a decision to go one way, but I chose to go the other. Yes. Simply, simply just because it was logical. Made the most sense. And knowing women, like, knowing women have, I knew women had it rough back when I was a child. Like, yeah, I go through a lot of shit deal with these fucking men. And this is just my logic going through life. Then, like, you get further in life. Now you in the game. Like, But where's Marcus at? Does Marcus feel like man, uh, these women are a problem in themselves? So he's like, I ain't trying to get up on your business anyway. My God. The more I learn, the worse it gets. Like, I don't know what I feel about women right now because... After the last one I dated, and that was what it was. Like I don't even have the energy or the finance. Like I really, I'm, I'm really stuck on the financial obligations expected in the process you, of dating. You, you know what? You 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 got to stop worrying about the relationship aspect, the business of. A relationship. You have to stop. Avo- you have to just stop thinking about that. <laughs> you just need to find someone who wants to chill and watch a movie with you. 
I'm not around nobody. I know, but you <laughs> got to just get out and about, and you just got to find people. Every, that got, everyone so, says get, someone is someone who's got a common interest. That's it. That's it. I'm I'm, I'm trying to make it the most simplest I can, so that it has the least burden to you uh, when you approach it from my point of view, which is just look for somebody who wants to hang out. That's it. Let the relationship develop. The business of the relationship develop on its own. Don't worry about the business of the relationship. It will it will find itself. I mean, I've been married to my wife for a long, long time. Hmm. Obviously, I can say this. If, if there's anything that I obviously can say, I can obviously say that uh, I must have done something right. I was able to facilitate finding a woman from a different family. <laughs> Not my own. Uh, meet this individual. Court this individual. Right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Impress this individual enough to want to hang around uh, me. Yeah. Eventually marry me. Preach. And then Preach, have children with me Probably. to where we are like literally tied for the rest of our lives we to are each other. Family. Yeah, for real. We are family now. That is the the, the 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 that is the mother of my children. I have no no says, if ands, or buts, or anything's about that. So like twenty one. But but it's been twenty me? plus years. So we've been doing this successfully for 20 plus years. Sir, you've been at the game before the internet was popping. So my point being, you can do it and you can even be like Mark. You can think of Mark. Think of all the things we're talking about with Mark, right? The, the way people can view Mark and Mark understands that and all that. Like think about Mark and that she's seen all of that. She's seen the things that piss them off and make them not want to talk to Mark that you know about. She's seen the things you don't like about Mark that you never tell him about. She's seen the things that Mark's done. She's seen the things she thinks. She's seen it all. Still stuck around, though. You know? I'm not trying to sit there and toot my own horn and say I'm the greatest thing since sliced bread or anything. I'm just being honest. A relationship requires work. But that work comes when it needs to happen. It's not something you have to think about. Like, you know, the, the things, you, the bridges you cross, they just kind of pop up when you, you need to cross them. At least that's how it's always happened for us. So I can't speak on behalf of others. All right. So, guys, what Mark just said. Yeah. did help me one goddamn bit. All that talking that did literally not, nothing for you. Sir, you gave me Bible verses. I need instructions. That's you not need the instructions. Same. I can't build no house, no Bible verses. I need instructions. Where do I go? Where are they at? And what do I say? Help. I need. Why would you need me to try to tell you what a black I ain't man got should say? Nobody else. Okay. Okay. Help me. I am. What? What's the help flag? Is that, what's the color of the help <laughs> it's flag? It's the white. The white flag. God, it's oh, the white. white. Fuck the white <laughs> flag. <laughs> the white flag. <laughs> you're putting up the white flag because you need help. <laughs> you're, <laughs> you're worthy of help. I get you're all worthy these of motherfucking help. speeches. You see, no if you put up the no black flag, if you put up the black flag, that means you're gonna break into somebody's <laughs> shit and <laughs> steal it. You're a pirate all of a sudden. You see what I'm saying? Like you're a bad person. Twenty one. Can you do, do something for me? me? Hey, look at, what can 21 do for him? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 21 can do something for him. He really can. Oh, man. Oh, my God. You got hair. Yes, I do. Do you do? Yeah, you do, too. Oh, my God. I, I hate every day I, I wake up and say, man, where are the aliens and where are the nukes? <laughs> I just, uh, I wait a second. A is, is this guy, is that? Does he, he have an the, arch he, he on leaning, his neck? He's leaning on a G wagon. Let's start. Wait, wait, there. wait, 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 wait. Does he have the arch on his neck tattooed on his neck? I, I was. I don't know what's going on. Who is this video? I ain't watching you. It's probably SZA because you never even seen what she looks like. <laughs> he said, hey, NBA "Is that NBA Young Boy? That's NBA I don't Young know Boy. What's going on right ain't now. that Young Boy? So, <laughs> that's NBA Young Boy, ain't it? I don't know. I think that's NBA Young Boy. I think you're wrong, but it's not. But click the video. Click the video. Where's your, where's your controller? Oh, it's not the remote. Oh, that is Young Thug from seven years ago, featuring Trouble, Thief in the Night." That is Young Thug. That's not Young Thug. Years. 
Hey, from seven years ago? That's I don't know who that is. No, that dude ain't Young Thug. That well, was you like, saw what it said. Young Thug gonna show up somewhere. Is this the game right here? That's not the game. That it. Is, where is Young Thug? Well, when are we at right We don't now? know where Young Thug is. Is this Trouble? I've never heard of Trouble. <laughs> he might be in jail. Is everybody else can you turn that up so we can hear this beat? Let's hear this badass song. Listen, if we're going to talk yeah, about we're it. Not, no, we're not. No, we, we're going to. I want to hear it. So I know, where's Young Thug? We're going to close by here. I'm hungry. I'm going to eat my spaghetti I made. You done? You ready to leave? No, I'm ready to eat my spaghetti. I didn't see Young Thug show up. I got these, I got these young ladies who definitely somebody made mom by now. I don't know what it is about you guys, but you keep trying to make these long ass videos. You don't need to make movies. Yeah. You guys are not Michael Jackson. You guys are just rap for three minutes over your beat and then be done. Like we don't need all okay. this extra. So for me, this is as the people say, so extra. So, for so me, extra. 2023 so far has been challenging my theories on who I am. There's Young yeah, Thug. Young Thug. All right. Shit. He looks so happy and free seven years ago. All right. Ago. We got to get out of here then. He's in jail. Free Young Thug. Free YS, uh, Young Slime. YSL. U U U S L Y S L. He said, yeah. All right, Mark. Where can we find you? You can find me at South Broadway Athletic Club on March 11th at 7 p.m. Me and the Kings of Revolution are going to handle the Brotherhood. We're getting really sick of Anthony Castaldi and Shaft finding ways to cheat and take advantage of us. So that's where they can find me. They can also find me on uh, Saturday afternoons, 1 to 3 p.m. Central Standard Time, newsradiokyro.com or 1280 a.m. KYRO 105.3 FM. That's our uh, call sign for the uh, station that I'm on. There you go. That's where they can find me, bro. Thank you, Mark. For no problem. Through. Always good to be with you, my man. Always good. Next time I... Oh, shit, hit me. Yeah, you clap for me. That's good. That's good. Give you double claps. Double claps. All the pleasure you being here. Welcome to the place that I hang out most of the time because I can't go nowhere else. Um, hey, y'all. Uh, follow AFM everywhere you follow us at. YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. Love yourself. Love each other. And love is all we got.